17 things Gen Z says we just can't do anymore. First of all, I don't need permission <laughs> from Gen Z to do anything, but let's check out this list. Using gendered pronouns. Gen Z is all about inclusivity and respect for all gender identities and sexual orientations. The use of gender neutral language, such as the pronouns they, them, to address non-binary people and those whose gender is as yet unknown. <laughs> Hate to break it to you, but you're either born male or female, and that's decided the second you pop out of mom, not dad. What's so irritating about this is how much Gen Z polices our speech, trying to force us to use their pronouns. How about this? I'll call you by whatever pronoun is in that woke, delusional brain of yours, as long as you use my pronouns, your majesty. Have you seen that obnoxious, woke barber who has to ask permission to touch people's hair? It's like, I'm here for a haircut. What are you gonna do? Cut my hair telepathically? Okay, if I touch you. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, if I touch you. Go right ahead. Before we get started, do you mind if I touch you? How else are you gonna cut my fucking hair? Do you mind if I touch you? Are you serious, bro? Just cut my hair. Is it cool if I touch you? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. It's usually just customary that I ask the person before I touch them. Just cut it, cuz. And what were your pronouns? Uh, she, they. She, they, too. Yay! Look at us. We're <laughs> twins. He, him. She, her. And what are your pronouns? Are you fucking serious, bro? Just cut my hair. What are your pronouns? They, them. She, they. I'm yes. glad we exchanged those. Yes. And what are your pronouns? Listen, bro, I don't do that shit. Bro, don't fucking touch me. Don't. I'm out of here. Fuck off. Posting on Facebook. According to Forbes, Facebook continues to be the most popular social media platform in 2024. That is surprising, with 2.9 million monthly active users. Many younger people criticize Facebook for being outdated, boring, and intrusive, causing them to use other platforms such as TikTok, Snapchat, and Instagram. Okay, be honest, when was the last time you were really active on Facebook? Unless I'm on Marketplace browsing for vehicles I could never afford or trying to find a new couch. I don't use Facebook, but I could be wrong. Maybe you guys use it a ton. Drop a comment. Wearing skinny jeans. Many members of Gen Z are opting for baggy, loose fitting styles over restrictive denim. Okay, so my wife just yesterday saw a girl's pants fall down because they were so baggy. I don't understand the trend, but wear skinny jeans, wear baggy jeans. Who gives a shit? Making phone calls. Many younger people find unexpected phone calls intrusive, inconvenient, and outdated. Instead, they typically prefer scheduled calls, emails, texting, and messaging. Well, that's because they're lazy and they want to get around to it when they want to to get back to you. Calling means a direct, immediate conversation. They're unprepared for it. How dare you talk to me out of the blue? Schedule some time or let me ignore your text for three days. My mother-in-law just removed her landline phone. I haven't heard that thing ring in several years. We asked her, why do you still keep this thing? And she said, oh, the library sometimes calls me on it. I don't know, do you still have a landline? I personally just have a cell phone. That's my home number, that's my mobile number, that's my work number, it's everything. I personally love phone calls just to get some clarification. I could sit and text out a novel or I could do a five minute conversation. I would much rather just pick up the phone, have a quick chat and figure things out. Watching cable TV. Cable is slowly being overtaken by streaming services such as YouTube, Netflix and Hulu. Woke, woke, woke. And cable has become pretty much obsolete. No more ugly satellite dishes. Everything's very streamlined. I agree with Gen Z in this regard. I think everything should move over to streaming as long as you can still get the content you're used to enjoying. Believing in traditional gender roles. Ugh. Gen Z is known for challenging traditional gender roles and norms, believing that many of these gender traditions are outdated and harmful. Many younger individuals advocate for gender equality and reject expectations and stereotypes based on one's gender. Go and start your little polyamorous quad lesbian <laughs> relationship. What you do in the bedroom is none of my business. What I do in the bedroom is none of yours. Let's leave it at that. Personally, I believe the nuclear family is the best way to raise children and the best way to have a strong community with strong values. Using cash. I was just at the movie theater last week and they wouldn't accept cash. I have a crisp $20 bill for your overpriced popcorn and tiny candies. A lot of places like this, fast food, soda shops, smoothies, 
with a lot of the younger Gen Z generations working there have a no cash system. Now they say it's because they don't want to get robbed. What I think is that this generation just can't count past 10. So it's a lot easier to swipe a card instead of having to count out some cash and coins. There are several shops I no longer frequent because of this policy. I think cash should always be an option when you're going to pay. Participating in organized religion. Gen Z is increasingly opting out of organized religion in favor of a more personalized experience. This is largely because a lot of young people see organized religion as outdated, exclusionary, and closed-minded. No, the younger generation just wants to do whatever they want. And any kind of organization that says, oh, the way you think might not be the correct way, well, then they're exclusionary. They're outdated. How dare they? As far as personalization goes, I get it. On the surface, it looks like the Bible is one book applied to millions of people, but it can have a million different interpretations and it can be as personalized to you as you want it to be. Buying diamonds. Many Gen Zers see diamonds as unnecessarily expensive and lacking in real value. This is absolutely correct. I have a cousin who tattooed his ring finger. Most of my male friends just wear cheap silicone bands. I don't see why we can't do simple silver bands as the symbol for union rather than these super ultra high priced diamonds. One point to Gen Z for that one. Following a linear career path. While older generations are known for their strong, stable work ethic through a fairly linear career path, Gen Z seems to value flexibility and variety in their career options. They opt for freelancing, side hustles, and work from home options. So my in-laws and my parents, they both have worked at the same jobs for 20, 30 years. I kind of fall into more of the Gen Z mindset where I've had multiple jobs over my career, but all within the realm of digital marketing and advertising. I'm on the fence about this because it's hard to raise a family when you're just freelancing and doing side hustles. A locked down job with a salary, insurance, and benefits is the most likely to support you and your family. Accepting hierarchy in the workplace. What? Many Gen Zers are tired of the traditional hierarchical organizational structures. Instead, they prefer collaborative work where everyone is recognized and rewarded for their individual skill sets. Many young people see hierarchical structures as rigid, outdated, and unfair to workers. Let me show you my 98 to 99 most valuable player soccer trophy from when I was nine years old. It's weird though, everyone on the team got most valuable player. It must have been a misprint at the trophy store. Yes, you should be recognized and rewarded for your skill, but there shouldn't be a blanket award to everyone just for participation. And without a strong leader, you're basically inviting socialism into your workplace. I just watched this awesome documentary about the Blue Angels the naval pilot team that does all these awesome demonstrations. And they have a very clear leader. He's called the boss. He leads the squad in these very, very dangerous maneuvers because if it was just all collaborative, they'd probably smash into each other and blow up. Thumbs down on this one, Gen Z. Keeping a traditional nine to five schedule. A study found that 60% of Gen Zers describe nine to five jobs as soul sucking. Many young people favor remote work options that offer more flexibility and a greater sense of work-life balance. Now, I do like a nine to five for one primary reason. It gives you a great schedule to work around. You know that that is your time to work. I have worked remotely in the past and it's hard to delineate between home life and work life and set that boundary. Bosses also think, oh, they're working from home so I can call them and bug them on the weekends or later at night into the evening. That nine to five window gives you that set boundary. Hey, let's talk about work between nine to five. Outside of that, leave me the hell alone. <laughs> I think instead of nine to five or remote, I think it's finding an employer that lets you take some vacation days, take some time off for your family and is flexible if you have some sort of family emergency or something that comes up. I've had awesome nine to five jobs where I've had a lot more flexibility to take it off when I have something come up than when I'm remote and I have to be at a meeting or in a Zoom call. So I can see it going both ways, but overall employers need to understand that they're hiring humans who have families, who have lives outside of work. Buying brand name products. 
Gen Z has a trend towards indie brands, sustainable products, and thrift shopping, providing a greater sense of authenticity and uniqueness. Okay, so they're doing it to be unique, to get these old 90s clothes that we were wearing in the past. I see this especially with over-the-counter stuff like aspirin or Advil, and you get the same active ingredients in the off-brand stuff as the main brand stuff. So a point to Gen Z for this, I don't think they're doing it for the right reasons, but why buy brand name when you can get off brand and it's just as great. Using email. Gen Z prefers instant messaging and social media. It's more convenient, casual, and immediate while emails are viewed as slow and unnecessarily formal. I don't really have a preference here. I've worked at companies that email is kind of get to it when you can, and there's an instant messenger for more immediate things. No big opinion on that. Voting for establishment candidates. <laughs> oh, Lord. Gen Z typically sees establishment candidates as overly biased, out of touch, and potentially corrupt. Well, there's Democratic or there's the GOP. RFK was just outed from the Libertarian Party, so good luck voting third party. Biden and Trump are both bad. I'm gonna vote for third party. Any vote for a third party is a vote wasted. It's essentially a vote for the other guy. In this next election, it's Republican or Democrat. It's left or right, and it's split pretty even down the middle. Please, if you're Gen Z and watching this, make up your mind, vote for one or the other, preferably Trump. Staying in one place. A lot of Gen Zers value adventure, exploration, and mobility much more highly than stability. There's this trend for younger generations to be more flighty, to rent their homes, to travel more, which I think is great. You do you. There's just something to knowing that you own a home versus having to pack your bags every few months. Accepting traditional marriage norms. Gen Zers are more likely to have a positive opinion of same-sex marriage and interracial marriage. I think this is a non-issue, especially interracial marriage. What is this, the 1920s? Marry who you want to marry. I don't give a shit. The youngest adult generation has been policing our free speech. They have been limiting and censoring the media, all in the name of wokeness, progressiveness, and inclusivity. What they need to wake up to is you cannot force anyone to think the way you think, to talk the way you talk, or to act the way you act. So no, I'm not going to change anything that I do because Gen Z says so. Can you think of anything else that Gen Z likes to police? Leave a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe to Conservative Vibes, and I will see you next time.